Good morning, happy Saturday. I am in my pajamas, freshly awake. Actually, I've been up for probably, I woke up super early for a Saturday. I don't know if it's just me, but I, for some reason, my body loves to wake me up before my alarms on the weekends, but on weekdays, it's like a struggle. So, anyways, I woke up at like eight, it's now 10, and I am finally making my breakfast. This morning, I was just doing some editing for a video that I'm actually not posting until tomorrow. I think I'm gonna switch my upload date on my main channel to Sunday instead of Saturday. Thoughts? <laughs> just because I feel like somehow, even though I have the whole week to get a video done, I would end up be like rushing to finish it to get up like early on Saturday. And last week I uploaded it on Sunday and in the first 24 hours I feel like it did better than most videos have done in the first 24 hours on a Saturday. And it makes sense because I feel like a lot of people have plans on Saturdays and are out and about and on Sundays more people are chilling. So would love any thoughts that you guys have. But currently I'm making my breakfast. This is my new holy grail breakfast that I have made, no exaggeration, every single day for the past two plus weeks. It's a great avocado toast. But unlike any avocado toast you've ever made, I realized A, the trick is in the bread. And I got sourdough baby. And that's what's gonna make this great. So first we put her in. It doesn't fit long ways in my toaster, so I have to toast it up and down with part of it sticking out, and then I do a little flip a -roo. All right, we got her toasted up. We got the avo. We got the ego. We got the that's Adriano. Not an ego. <laughs> What's that's up? That's not an ego waffle. That's an egg dash o. Uh huh. Okay. I'm so jealous of this breakfast. Let me tell you, Morgan's been making this every morning. Literally I, every morning. <laughs> I can't eat literally any of that besides avocado, and I want to just. <laughs> it's so good. And so then what I put on top for maximum flavor is a little bit of balsamic and then a hefty amount of these uh, chili flakes. I don't know why, I just really like to go in. And then I drink a lot of water and then that also gets me hydrated first thing in the morning. So win-win. Mm, like just wait. You'll think it's done and then I add more. <laughs> Does that Every make your bite. Fun? It does, but it's so good. Can I try one singular flake? A flake? Will that hurt me? No. Have you never had these? I don't know. Oh. They're not like. It's like. <laughs> Whoa. Hot. Anyways, so highly recommend this. I just finished editing, well not finished, mostly finished editing my video for tomorrow. So when this vlog goes up, this will be up also. It is a little copy, a rip off of Billie Eilish's one year apart interview. It's a Morgan one year apart interview. I don't know why nothing's loading, but anyways. I'll have that linked. Also, other just home updates while we're here. Look at our mini fridge, it's so stocked. We um, said bye to LaCroix and we got a bunch of flavors of the Target brand sparkling water. I've only tried the black, or raspberry blackberry one so far. It's really good. Why do we have Coors Light? I don't know, Adrian, why do we have Coors Light? Uh, Adrian did the nicest thing for me last night. What did I do? What, she, that wasn't even that nice. She got me tuna <laughs> salad from the grocery store. It's my favorite thing, oh Trader Joe's helpers. That was not that nice. It was so nice. Oh, thanks, okay. It made my I day. put it on your shelf, did you see it? <laughs> Just roomy things. Just roomy things. Mm. This is so good. I, I'm aware of how good that is and looks and smells. Can I smell it? Yeah. Oh my god, what? Okay, it's the balsamic yeah. too. What? Given the law right. of right. diminishing marginal utility, <laughs> I would expect that after eating this every day for so long that my joy would have decreased, but no. That should be a new problem in like a textbook. Morgan eats one toast with an egg and chili flakes every day for 12 days. In my econ class, that was how they taught that to us, was with these like Oreos or something, and they had a kid eat an Oreo and then rate how like oh, much value or like yeah. how good it was, and then eat another one and rate it, and eat another one and rate it, and it goes down. But this has stayed just <laughs> parallel. Ah, uh, I can't drive and vlog because I forgot. I need to order this. Morgan, while you're editing, order this. Um, my car tripod. A, the suction is still like just stuck to the window. There's no getting it off, so good luck to me. But the tripod contraption <laughs> snapped off. You see, it's like the whole plasticky part. I don't know if it got hot or what. Yeah, so I have to stationary vlog. But heading off now to go to Rumble. Yeah, going to the hardest gal in my opinion. Gonna be quite the workout. Uh, I am so tired right now and I wanted to drink some coffee, but I think I have started apparently a habit of after rumble depending on who's there like i don't know some of the instructors and like the manager and just some friends whatever i've made a habit of after rumble 
going and getting like coffee or getting a smoothie or whatever and it's great because good company but it's also, I don't know, I could probably stand a reel out in. Anyways, so I thought there's a decent chance I'd be getting coffee with the instructor after. Um, in which case, I don't want to have two coffees. So that's that. Let's be on our way. going to listen to some JoJo. That was so hard. And I ended up not getting coffee with the girls. So I am now stopping at Alfred Beverly Hills on the way home. I'm so excited. Because um, it's one of my favorite drives. And yum. And free. Because I have a gift card from my sisters. Or Meredith, my sister. And... My mom and dad got me offered gift cards as part of my Christmas presents. So, love that. Favorite streets. Thank you to my sister slash parents for today's little drink. Little treat myself. Even though I'm already woken up from that workout. But, ugh, guys, I just love living here. I mean, look at this. Where can you find this? I am freshly showered. Ugh, need to dry my hair. I'm doing the quickest get ready ever, which is my own fault because I sat down on the couch for too long. Gonna have a little snack lunch of some tuna salad. The tuna salad, thanks Adrian. And hummus and crackers. <laughs> and then I'm gonna finish getting ready. And I'm heading down to Doc Weiler Beach, which I've never been to before, a little beach bonfire uh, going away thing for Quentin, Kinsey's boyfriend. So, cause he's moving to Dallas. No fun. These are the best crackers from Trader Joe's. And then after the beach, I'm just gonna come back here and have myself a little cozy Saturday night in, which is one of my favorite things to do. I've kind of got my weekend routine down in 20, 2020, where Friday night I get dinner with the same people and then come home early and go to bed. Saturday morning I go to Rumble. I usually do something else during the day, but then I have like a night to myself in. Probably watch something on Netflix. I would love recommendations for shows um, in the comments. I already have watched Cheer, which I was obsessed with. Highly recommend The Circle, which I was obsessed with. Highly recommend that three-part Don't F with Cats uh, docuseries thing. That was wild. So what else is out there? I feel like I haven't seen seen much but yeah i'll have myself a cozy night i might get chick-fil-a for dinner i've been thinking about it for a while here's my beach outfit <laughs> it seemed decently warm out today but i assume it's gonna be breezy at the beach slash as soon as the sun sets in la it gets freezing real quick so sweatshirt from cotton on these oh actually these jeans are even from cotton on um and then wearing a little easy slip on shoe because i will probably take them off when i get there we have made it it is sunny so pretty though Woo! Squad's here. Part of the squad. The early squad. <laughs> I, uh, of course, didn't think to bring a towel, a blanket, absolutely anything to sit on. Quentin, how's this going? Do we know how to set a fire? We, you know, I've never <laughs> done it so well. <laughs> we've got all the things. All the, we've got the starter logs. Uh -huh. We've got um, charcoal fuel somewhere, but this is wood. It's, okay. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you know, wait, great. Well, I feel wait. confident. home about to edit in the meantime though I'm watching Dynasty and got some Chick-fil-A morning happy Sunday I did not sign off yesterday's vlog all I did last night was crash on that couch I fell asleep at like 8 took a little nap woke up went upstairs and then once again woke up so early today on Sunday at about 7 a.m. what can you do um, I'm setting my video live right now. If you wanna see that, I'll have it linked below. It's definitely a different kind of video. So that is done. I'm gonna go make my avocado toast. And my plan for today, I think, is probably to go to boxing, as always. Uh, do some chilling and relaxing. And goals are cleaning my room and taking some Poshmark order photos. Uh, or not order, Poshmark listing photos. Cause I have so many items I need to list. Cause me and Adrian basically, well, Mostly me, but our office room upstairs, there's a like coat closet in there. It's been full to the brim. Like it's not even pr like functional storage. It's just been stuffed with like things that we keep throwing in there. And so I finally took all of my things out, which now are like flooding the office um, until we figure out how we're gonna put stuff back in there in like an organized fashion and what we really wanna use the closet for. I think it'd be great to actually be able to store some of my winter coats in there um, because there's not really room in my closet in my bedroom. So we're gonna see, but 
in taking all the things out of that, I have just like these giant boxes of items that I want to sell on Poshmark, but I need to hurry up and take photos of and list already. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm hungry, so I might. <laughs> another day, another toast. <laughs> all right, I could so easily just sit on my couch literally all day. I remember this morning that I filmed a vlog that you guys have already seen, because at this point it's gone up before this, but like over a week ago, it was like a week and a half ago when I was going to that little Netflix premiere, and I forgot about it, and I never edited the footage, so I was just, mostly finishing that all of 2020 i just feel like i'm lacking in energy so much like i could happily december was just such a hustle time that now i could just happily lay on my couch for a good i don't know long time and just hibernate <laughs> we made it it's rumble time you guys know i love a premier parking spot here up against this wall there is one spot that sits all alone and i have scored it what a day look at that mm. yeah. Got back post workout, feeling wonderful, feeling much more awake. <laughs> Gonna see how today's vid is doing. Additionally, a predicament I have found myself in a this air fryer I love, I will link it below if you're in the market. Have been cooking at home, so my Postmates habit is pretty much gone ever since I discovered this avocado toast for breakfast and this air fryer, and how delicious and easy it makes cooking dinner. So it's wonderful. However, if you can tell, this thing is wide like any way you look at it, she's curvy and she don't fit in any of the cabinets. I think maybe up top, but I don't even know if she'd fit up there. She doesn't fit under these because she's too tall to fit on any of the shelves. She can't go like in any of these cabinets because she's too wide and it won't close. So what in the world am I gonna do? And if you're wondering why I don't just leave it out, this already looks way too cluttered. We have too many appliances. We have no room for another appliance. This kitchen's a mess right now, but you get the idea. Got that vlog all put together. I'm starting something new on Netflix called Unnatural Selection about like genetic modifications and things like that. I don't know. We're gonna see if I like it. I'm now in full lounging mode. <laughs> Morgan from the future popping in with an iPhone clip as I am sitting here finishing editing this vlog and realizing that once again, I did not sign that off. So I had a cozy night on Sunday night. And now this week I have a bit of a crazy week as we get close to my birthday next weekend because I have two college friends coming into town beginning Thursday to stay with me. And then we have lots of fun festivities planned for the entire weekend through Monday. And then right after that, I leave to go to the Dominican with Adrian. Um, so we have a lot happening back to back. It's a busy few days. I'll try to vlog my birthday, but we probably won't have another video until then. On the 25th, my birthday on my main channel, I'll have my 25 things I learned at 25 video go up. So make sure you're keeping an eye out over there. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.